test, test, test. How's the skin look? Do I look good? This is what we're doing. Okay, headscarf in 86 degree weather. <laughs> Hi, I'm Thea, and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, you can maybe relate it to my vintage finds. So recently I binged watched one of my favorite YouTubers, The Closet Historian. She has a series of videos where she goes over vintage catalogs and basically does a show and tell. And I was absolutely fascinated. They're mostly fashion catalogs, but it's really fun to kind of look back and see what kind of fashions were were happening then, how they actually kind of equate to today's fashions in some ways, and the prices. It's really just a fascinating adventure down a rabbit hole there. So I recently happened upon a catalog. It is not a fashion catalog, it is a furniture catalog, and I felt like it was equally worthy of sharing, so I thought I would do that today. And the catalog I have is furniture from Forslund. It's just a, looks like a store copy kind of catalog. And there are pieces of furniture, home accessories, and more. And I believe the designer is Carl Forslund. I've definitely heard of Forslund before. There is a chair in here that if you're familiar with vintage furniture, you will definitely recognize. Both my husband and I were both like, a quick glance, like, whoa. If we see that out thrifting, we're definitely getting it. I thought it would be fun to do a little show and tell with this catalog, and I hope you enjoy the little trip. All right, before we begin, I should preface this whole event by saying I am dyslexic, and I am a little bit of a slow reader when it comes to reading like this, and I will sometimes read something a little wrong, so please be kind in the comments, don't overcorrect me. I'll do my best, and I'll try to show as many photos as I can. This is a little tough being a little close and the print is kind of small. Ideally what I should do is scan all of this and put it into a Flickr album available for all to see, but at least you can get a general idea what is available in this catalog if you wanted to look or if you are a fan of Carl Forslund's work. Okay, this catalog is Furniture from Forslund. Someone had written Early America on the top here. It looks to be in Sharpie, but otherwise it's in really great condition. Wow, that was a little scary, wasn't it? It is 112 pages, and I will not be stopping on every single page to discuss everything. It's more of just an actual show and tell here. So, let's begin. Okay, so my catalog actually still has one of the original order forms in here. Uh, the slogan seems to be, it's fun to buy from Forslund or a quaint America or American, quaint American. And the copyright on here says 1959. Oh, and I... Before we actually begin, I just wanted to add that Carl Forslund was in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Shout out to my Michigan family. So, furniture from Forslund. Looks like a family photo, little dear friends, our neighbor, customers everywhere. Probably something really nice and wonderful in there. We won't read all of that. We're just here to look at the stuff. So we got some traditional looking furniture. Baltimore step table. That makes sense. I've seen a few of those style of tables before. Providence writing desk. $169.95. Really traditional looking furniture. Well, you know, I would love this couch. Oh wow, they had a pull-out couch back in 1959. Wow, $389.95. The Pullman sofa bed with foam cushions. That's so cool. Royal 
Dalton jugs. Can you see that? What are those? Those are scary little faces. Child Circus Set, Mason's Iron Sign China from England. Post paid $3.50. This guy right here. Famous Mason Vista in pink, brown, or blue. I know some people who collect this. I've bought maybe five or six of those in my time. Let's see, there's some traditional looking furniture, chair, desk, secretary desk, coffee table, butterfly table. All right, traditional bedroom set. A traditional rocking chair. All right, looks like things are going to get interesting now. So, I love these lamps. What are they actually called? I know them to be a hurricane lamp. Is that a is that the right name? This is called the Dora Lee Lamp in Cranberry Satin Glass. It is described more fully on page 105. It's a perfect gift for a girl, for girls 7 to 70, 22 inches high, and we ship it prepaid for $39.85. Do you have them in blue? Oof. I know this. Ironside is, sorry, I know Ironstone is well collected. This is a fun thing to look at. Breakfast and supper set. Complete set for $44.50. Wow. And it just shows all of the little accessories you can buy. Wow. You guys be thankful that there isn't any Pyrex in this or else I'll be just going off here. All right. Cocktail table. Three drawers that look like six. Oh, this guy here. All right, so this chair, let me see if I can get the glare off of it. Hubba hubba. When I first looked through this, John was sitting close by and we both kind of stopped and were like, wow, can we get, can we get two of those? Uh, what is this called? This is a picture of our library at home when Mr. Forslund Rip Van Lee was new and quite stiff. Now it's like an old shoe. Oh, fun. There's a picture of his studio. Wow. Doesn't that look comfy? Looks pretty masculine, especially with the large slippers on there and a big black rooster. But well, that's a interesting decor choice. All right, yeah. and then uh, a kitty. Madge Nicholson, our Madge Lawson couch. Huh. I like that couch. I like that chair. I'll take two. Oh, this one's kind of fun. The Miss Ada Lee, the Miss Ada Love seat. 
Patrick fabric. It kind of looks like something from Minecraft right now. There's those chairs again. Wow. $119.50. All right. I think I'm pretty sure everyone's mom and grandma, if you were born in the 80s, late 70s, everyone had this still. Weather vane roosters, north or south, east or west. No matter where you are, our old pine weather vane roosters will be the topic of conversation among all your friends. The mellow pine planks are jauntily carved into these silhouette-like wall pieces. 1795 or 2995 for the pair. I don't remember what friend of mine had chairs like this, but I always remember being slightly afraid of them um, because they were so open in the back. Um, and you know, when you're a dumb kid, you rock back on these chairs. Uh, these are called the Captain Jones Pine Finish Armchair. And they sold for $42.95 each. Kind of pricey. More kitchen storage cupboards. Some of these names are kind of fun. Peg Parker Welsh Dresser. Henry Hardcastle Jr. Cupboard. Did he name them after friends? Witches Elm Whitler Benches. Mammy Wolf Pine Harvest Table. I like how in this catalog there is a sprinkling of colored pages. It seems very like modern for the time. Old hollow replicas of early American pressed glass Victorian novelties. Yes, send me one of everything. Do they have a dog? I, I do find that kind of amusing, that little kitty right there. <laughs> wow. Milk glass candlestick. The American Beauty Rose Lamp. Okay. I had a little mild heart attack when I saw this hobnail vase situation. They call it an ivy bowl. Sweet and old fashioned milk glass bowl for ivy or fresh flowers. Truly a collector's piece with its sawtooth ribbed diamond design and hobnail footed base. Seven inches high, postpaid, $4.00. Pair if shipped together, seven dollars and eighty-five cents. So you can save fifteen cents. If you ordered two. Uh, I would like six. <laughs> Those are so cool. I, I do collect white hobnail milk glass. I collect pretty much anything that is milk glass. So these are fun to look at. Oh, all of these. Can you just imagine when I first saw this? I just basically had a cow. These prices are so good. $1.50, $4.00, I do find a lot of milk glass at the thrift stores, so I have built quite a collection over the years. It's kind of fun. Westmoreland of Grapeville, Pennsylvania. Milk glass treasures. On any milk glass order totaling $20 or more, you can deduct 10% off of the total. We save and pass it on to you. Wow. Another thing which I kind of think is a little sad because I, when my parents 
brought out the punch bowl when I was little. That meant we were having a big party. And I see complete in box punch bowl sets at the thrift store all the time. And they're usually like for five dollars. Um, it makes me kind of sad. It's like, do people not serve punch anymore? Because punch was great. All right, and more fun stuff. Cabbage leaf plates. Almost real enough to eat with oil and vinegar, but best used to serve salad or dessert. Seven and a half inch diameter. $2.30 each or a set of six for $11.95. Oh, here's the upright kitty. The upright cat. Same price as lazy old tabby who's been lying down all these years. Ten and a half inches high for $9.95. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Ooh, they have a grandfather. Grandfather leaves his clock. Uh, a little on a personal note, my uncle, my favorite uncle, was, I believe he was the president of the American Clockwork Association or something, but there's an organization about clockworks, and my uncle, who was a nuclear physicist, uh, was a clock collector, and in his house, they had quite the collection of clocks. I loved going in there, hearing everything chime and make noise and just seeing the motor movements. It was awesome. So I have a very strong desire to have my own grandfather clock, but I'm very, very picky. Okay, now we are talking. I want everything here, even this hat rack. <laughs> um, Let's see, Matilda Lang Southern Parlor Sofa. Whew. It was $458. My, this is exquisite sofa has everything to make a glorious heirloom piece that will never find an attic. The sweep of the solid Honduras mahogany back is carried by delicate finger roll carving and the roses are cut deep by the skilled hands of good men. The channeled and diamond tufting of the velvet highlights the beauty of the fabric and assures comfort too. Nothing has been sacrificed in making this fine, quaint American sofa masterpiece. It's shown here in grade A velvet and priced accordingly. Wow, I would pay that. And for these chairs. Handsome chairs like these were very popular in America a hundred years ago between 1845 and 1870. Wow. Replicas of early American pressed glass Victorian novelties. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Sunshine catchers. <laughs> I love that this little cat statue is in so many photos. Super nice decorative looking glass. A little pedestal table. Ooh, and the lamp. Nice comfy chair. That's a grandma couch. This is super formal and I, I actually like traditional furniture but this is a little too formal for my taste. Um, but it is super nice. I had something like this when I was a kid. So they sold carpets too. Oh gosh, remember that doll from the very beginning there? <laughs> Plantation Colonial. Ew. Don't really like that name. 
but the pattern is quite lovely. Oops, skipped a page. Sorry, guys. Sue Ellen Lee Rocker. That's an interesting rocking chair. Farmstead Collection, a cradle. Grandpa made the original of this rolling pin cricket for great aunt Maggie. She always said it was just the right, it was just right for resting her feet while she toasted her toes by the fire and you'll like it too. Made of sturdy Michigan elm. This is an exact copy of grandpa's masterpiece. Post paid, $12.95. That's an interesting, it's an interesting piece. It's kind of fun. How a block of wood comes to life in the skillful hands of a master carver. Very practical utility Lee sol solid cherry folding table. Ooh, another comfy looking chair. And uh, this Dora Lee lamp. Boy, that's really, I gotta have that. Not in pink though, green or blue if, or yellow. Abby Lee lamp. Wow. Johnny Blake and Carl Jr. are seated. And of course that's Mr. F with the pipe. Mrs. F sofa, the one with the dressmaker look. It does kind of look like a dress. <laughs> What's this? Do it yourself kit. Lovely for walls, too. Hmm. Oh, it's like stain and finish that you can do yourself. That's pretty cool. Like if your hardware store didn't have that, you could order it. From good old Carl here. Wow, okay. All right, I hope you enjoyed that little show and tell. Uh, I hope you found something interesting in here at least. Uh, let me know what you think. I hope to find more uh, catalogs in the future and I will definitely do more show and tells. I really enjoy this kind of adventure myself as a viewer, so it's nice to share these little fun things because I, th I feel like catalogs are a little bit of a harder thing to find and they are really fun to look through. Uh, I've been thrifting my whole life but as an adult I've been thrifting since I moved to the Seattle area in 1998 and I'm still learning new things every time I go into a thrift store or antique mall or a consignment shop. I never stop learning about there's so many things to know. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye! Am I in focus? Alright. Alright. The hair is just gonna be frizzy, okay? I got barking dogs at night in the neighborhood. Alright, test, test, test. Visual check. You won't be able to read anything. We're just looking at pretty pictures.